Pokemon just released these brand new Evolution tins last Friday. So we're gonna open them up and see what packs are inside and see if they have any good pull rates. Um, I'm sure you've seen similar videos about these, but we're gonna open them up and hopefully get some good pulls. So let's see what we can get and see what's inside. Okay, so as I was opening up these, um, are, they are packaged new. I, it's been a while since I've opened a tin, so I don't know if this is brand new or, but look at that. That's kind of cool. They have this black background. It looks like you can just pull here and it's a little, okay, a little weird. Um, I guess, I'm not sure if this is great for the promo cards to have it like this because they're kind of trapped in there. So what's the best way to get it out without like bending them? Like, I don't know, a safe way. Let's just rip that. Did that help? That may not help at all. So you might have to bend it a little bit to get it out. Um, all right, and then uh, the inside looks different as well. It has this black uh, paper as well. Usually it's like the plastic, but all right. So we got since we got this this one open, we'll just go ahead and open these packs. But this is the Vaporeon promo card, looking pretty cool, and of course. We have the packs. We have Ev Evolving Skies, uh, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, and Sword and Shield. So, kind of interesting little sets that they gave us here. And this is for the Vaporeon V, if you want that. Um, because, uh, obviously, Obviously, Chilling Rain is not bad. Battle Styles, not everyone's favorite. I like it, so I'm okay with that. Sword and Shield base set, kind of weird. Um, but we will open up this, uh, I guess, Sword and Shield base set first. Uh, let's see, there we go. Oh, y'all can have that. There you go. I'm not sure. If there's really much to anything that I'm looking for inside of uh, a Sword and Shield base set, the Score Bunny is pretty cool artwork. Um, but Goldeen, Gasly Reverse Hollow, and a Gengar Hollow Rare. So that's not too bad. Uh, what is this? Battle Styles. Still, any artwork, any alternative artwork would be amazing. Um, this is, uh, this is, an, oh, we got a green code, so hopefully, hopefully they messed up and gave us something good. Um, we got Fighting Injury, Dotler, Fan of Waves, Pig Knight, Scatterbug, Mr. Mime, Spoink, Mawile, Cacnea, Mawile again, Reverse Hollow, and the Marowak, Regular Rare. Alright, so we got Chilling Rain up next, a whole bunch of stuff. And chilling rain, usually just the alternative artworks. Um, does this have what's the gold shiny cards in here? Let's see how this is. Look at that one's the right way. One, two, three, four. Is it artillery? No, that's battle styles. And man, what is it? I don't do not remember. But oh, electrode, right? Snorlax, and something else. Was there a third one? Galarian Slow King and a Golurk Regular Rare. Alright, so we got Evolving Skies, of course, the brand new set. Little, a little odd that it's only one Evolving Skies pack. I wish they definitely. Oh, we got a white and green code though, so that's good. Alright, so that's uh, Evolving Skies and. What was it? Battle Styles that were facing the other way? Aroma Lady, Hitmon Chain, whoops, Hopip, Phoebus, Teddy Ursa, Ursa Ring, Reverse Hollow, and a what? A Gigalith Regular Rare. Dang, so we got a regular rare inside a green and white code card. Pooey. Oh well, so let's I'm gonna open up these other two tins and then we can 
we can uh, look at the rest of the cards. Alright, so they are opened up. Here are the online code cards for the promos, Jolteon and Flareon. Let me know um, which packaging you like, I guess which tin you like the better. You like Flareon, Jolteon, or Vaporeon. I guess we'll just do Yvonne Skies first here. So this is the Jolteon, and this was the other way, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, just make sure. Don't want to know what what's possible. Well, I guess it doesn't even matter now these days because we got that regular rare from a white and green code. What was that about? Emoga, Lillipup, Applin, Pikachu. Whoa, this one looks weird. Rescue Carrier. The printer ran out of ink. That looks terrible. Oh my goodness. Uh, a Trevenant V Max. Oh man. Look at that. I don't know if I have this. I might have this. If I don't, I have it in Japanese. Um, oh, you know what? I'm gonna show y'all the promo cards real quick. All right, so we got the Flareon promo card right here. Looking pretty sweet. The Ve uh, oh, Jolteon, sorry. The Jolteon and then the Vaporeon. Let me know what you think is the best looking card. I personally think I like uh, Jolteon artwork more than the other ones. One, two, three, four. Okay, there you go. And that reverse rare, I feel like the reverse rares in the Baldwin Skies have just been really, really low in quality. Especially from the build and battle boxes. Most of them I got from those were weird. Like super... The font was bolded and the texture of the cards themselves felt weird. It did not feel like these regular cards. One, two, three, four. They were like super rough, I felt like. Uh, we got Corco, Bruno. Opening battle styles before I forget. Bell Sprout, Electabuzz, love that artwork. Uh, Haunage, Lux Ray, Reverse Rare, and a Clay Doll, regular rare. So nothing, nothing big at all from this Jolteon tin. And there wasn't anything in that uh, Vaporeon except for one, two, three, four, except for the Gengar Hollow. We'll put that over there so I know which hits came from which tin here. Uh, Salazzle, we got Evolution, Incense, Drizzle, Sizzle, Weed, Ponyard. So this is a Sun and Moon base set. No, Sword and Shield base set. Orangaroo, Reverse, that's a rare, right? So that's pretty cool. And oh my goodness, we got Wallafet Full Art. Look at that. Definitely right now Jolteon is bringing the heat. I love the full arts. The full arts of uh, Sword and Shield look so good. This is obviously off center a bit, but this is definitely just a binder filler card. I don't have much, I don't think I have much Sun and Moon base set. Um, or Sword and Shield. I don't know why I keep saying Sun and Moon. What is this again? We're back to Sun and Moon base set. Sword and Shield, oh my goodness, okay. We got Water Energy, Energy Search, Poke Kid, uh, Quillfish, Mudbray, Maractus, Sable, Galarian Ponyta, Mawile, uh, Galarian Preserker, and a Boltint Hollow. It's not terrible. Uh, that's actually super cool artwork, like the more I look at it. We got battle styles here. Uh, there we go. And let's see if we can get. Really, just looking for anything alternative artwork would be amazing. Um, well, I guess really just the. Uh, what is it? What's in this one? Not. 
the Empoleon. Is this the dragon? The oh yeah, Tyranitar. This one has Tyranitar. Uh, we got Galarian Mr. Mime and a Flapple VMAX. Okay, so not the most sought after card, but a VMAX is a VMAX. Uh, pretty sweet. I love, I, I'm a fan of the VMAXs. I like the backgrounds they have. I think they look pretty cool. I know not, I feel like not everybody likes the VMAXs, but. Um, well, I mean, especially when alternative artworks are a thing now these days. Definitely a lot of people's chase cards. We got Bound Suite, Lapras, Blitzel, Curlia, Reverse Hollow, and an Inteleon Hollow. That's actually a pretty, pretty good hit. Um, from what I've heard, this is a very good popular playing card, so... Um, I think it's like going for like four, four bucks maybe, if I remember. So we did get a green and white code, but last time we got one from Evolving Skies, SQ, one of my favorites. Um, we got a regular rare, which is not fun. So hopefully we can get something spicy. Hip Hop Potatoes, Phoebus, Stormy Mountains. That has a gold card that I want to get. Um, let's see what we can see. A Seismitoad regular rare. Oh my goodness. So, super weird that Evolving Skies has uh, green, and gold, green and white code cards, which are just regular rares. So, uh, let's see what we got. We got Gengar from Vaporeon 10. We got Wobbuffet and Trevenant VMAX from the Jolteon 10. And from Flareon 10, we got Bolton Hollow, and we got Inteleon Hollow, and Flapple VMAX. So let me know in the comments what you think was the better tin. And if you bought these tins, let me know what you got from them. I think my favorite here is the Jolteon. Uh, looking pretty. I think it's just the Wobbuffet full art that I really like the most, probably. But let me know what you get from your tins. Are you gonna get these tins if you see them out? I don't remember how much they were, but I'll put it on the screen so you know. Um, but yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later.